We're pretty active on Twitter, or at least I am. I kind of run the Twitter account. If you ever see us on there, Pixel Monks at Pixel Monk, follow me. I'm on there. You'll see a bunch of stuff. Uh, but one thing that has captured my attention over the past couple days is has to do with Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We on this channel, just to get this out of the way, are advocates of free speech. We have certain uh, political views, certain uh, cultural and social views, but we don't feel the need to censor or to stop anybody from expressing yeah, their views honestly, anywhere else. Honestly, because at any time, like, I could change my mind. Exactly. So, somebody we could change our mind. So, I mean, if and, and this is kind of going off topic, but it's still relevant. If anybody comes on our channel and says, hey, you guys fucking suck, this, that, and the third, you guys are dicks, I hope you fucking die of <laughs> I would hope, I would hope anus they, cancer or whatever, I would, hope I would they not give delete their comments. Yeah, I would know? hope they give more information than that so that I would know what they're talking about. But. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all about constructive criticism. Let us know. But anyways, where where this is going is I saw on Twitter the other day a concept art from Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and they were holding up a sheet with uh, – and they made a sign out of it or whatever, and it said, Og Lives Matter. People are freaking out about this because – uh, and I actually was uh, bitching at this guy. I don't remember his name. Some dude from South Africa. He writes for Polygon and stuff sometimes. I don't know. He's a turd. But I I wrote to him because what his words were is that it was social struggle appropriation. <laughs> Which uh, the thing is, is like I get that I get where they're coming from, and anybody who recognizes that argument is going to see that slogan and realize where it comes from. But it's like at the same time, do you really think that undermines your argument? Well, do you really think that that's making light of like what you guys yeah, well, are talking yeah, about? Yeah, I, mean, like I mean, a couple things. One, if if that can undermine your whole movement, you're fucked to begin with. If that's all it takes yeah. to undermine you and to make you completely insecure about what you're doing, you're fucked anyways. I mean, I think we can agree that you're fucked regardless. <laughs> you know what I mean? But to keep it, you know, to keep it consistent, you, that it's it's a video game. Secondly, and this is and this was what my main argument was, is that Regardless of how you feel about that, it's appropriate for the context for the game. The story revolves around mankind being divided. Yeah, it's true. completely appropriate. Yeah, and they and they didn't and they and it wasn't like there was any kind of like parody or satire to it. It like it, it fits completely within the context of the story. I don't see a fucking problem. No. Yeah. The thing is, the, the, honestly, the thing that's funny to me is that the way that uh, developers are approaching this social justice warrior issue, because we heard about this before with uh, the Tekken skins, where they were talking about they're yeah, going to be. We actually like, made a fighters. video about it. We yeah. put it up. Where there's going to be, where there's fighters that are in bikinis and stuff like that, and they were like, "Is that coming stateside?" And it's like, "Well, I don't know. Ask your social justice warriors." Like, <laughs> it's funny yeah. to me that like people who aren't directly involved in like uh, you know American society and seeing all this from the outside, they're looking at that almost in a joking manner. Right? They can't even take it seriously. Yeah. Until they see people freaking out, and they're like, "Wait, these people are serious about this." That's fucked up. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't mean and to. The thing is, I look at anybody. it. If, if I could <laughs> even have my voice heard at all, if somebody was listening to this channel, I'd want to say that, like, just no, stand your ground, dude. It's like, yeah. like you do what you're doing. You're doing it yes. right. I enjoy what you're I, doing. I want other people's visions in this world. Yeah. I don't want to live in an echo chamber. Yeah. I want to see other people's opinions, other people's experiences, other people's perspectives. Yeah. On the world around them, because that's what makes the world a, a interesting place. Variety is the spice of life. But it's it's become it's become something so bastardized and ridiculous that it's like equal rights for some, not everybody. You know, what right? I mean? Like it's... right, and and it's and it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. I, it, 
with everything going on in the world, I can't believe this is a topic of discussion. I can't believe this is a topic of anger. This is fucking stupid. It's social justice warriors. Grow the fuck up. Really, it's fear mongers trying to scare up fucking skeletons where there aren't any. No, it, what it is is people that are so comfortable within their own lives. They have such a comfortable, safe life that the only way they can make themselves relevant in the world is by making up problems. Which is fine when it has to do with things that I don't give a shit about. But it's like <laughs> when it comes to video games, it's like get your fucking hand out of my cookie jar, dude. Yeah. Your you don't belong hand here. Smells like your ass. Yeah. Get it out of my jar. No, it's 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 completely ridiculous, and and I mean this this stretches to a whole host of other social problems that we have in America, and but I mean it's it's fucking retarded. Yeah, I mean you you never go full retard, <laughs> and they went full retard. Yeah. You don't you don't never go full retard. Full skunk played ping pong. That ain't retarded. And that's the thing is that, like it's a relatively new ish ish issue. Uh, as far as like as, as, as yeah, far- you didn't you didn't see this kind of shit five years ago. Exactly. So I, that's the thing is that we're still we still haven't been able to see how much this is actually going to affect the way developers make games and stuff like that. But if I start to see that the fucking they're going back on their word and they cut out bikini skins and Tekken and stuff like that, that's honestly not. I'm I'm probably when I play Tekken, you don't give a shit about yeah. bikini skins. What it is is I'm it's the never principle. Gonna, yeah, I'm probably never going to use bikini skins when I play Tekken because I don't give a shit about that type of thing. But the fact that a developer is now taking content out because of what somebody said now affects me. Right, and, and I don't want to see that trend continue. Especially when it's like, dude, we're not we're not talking about a whole host of people. We're talking about one person who has like 300 followers on Twitter. They're completely irrelevant. Why are you even why are you even pandering to their fucking weird insecurities? Get I, the fuck out of here. And that's why I say like that's when when I see developers as an outsider looking in, they're trying to adjust to this new mentality. I feel like they don't fully understand how relevant it is, and it is not. You know what I mean? Like, they're trying to grasp the situation. Right. I, yeah, I think they think that it's more important than it really is. Yeah. When it's like, dude, like 98% of the people in this country don't give a shit about what these people are talking about. So I'm hoping they'll stand their ground. They'll continue to put out the content right. they want to put out, and the people will buy it, and they'll be like, and, okay, and, we're safe. Well, we're because good. a good game is going to sell no matter what. Yeah. And, but the, and this kind of comes up. We've had this discussion before. I I think we made a video of it, but we didn't post it. Uh, when it comes to video games being art, and I don't think video games are art, but when you are a developer and you are making a game, I want you to follow the vision that you had. I don't want some fucking insecure gender studies turd deciding on how what you put out in your game and what you don't. Yeah, it goes back to that old saying where it's like if you try to please everybody, you're going to please nobody. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it, and this is where it kind of is like art. Make what you planned on making. Make your vision. Eidos Montreal, making Deus Ex, put out that fucking game exactly how you envisioned it. Fuck these people. Yeah. You're going to make money off that game no matter what. They aren't going to stop you from making money. And that goes for any other developer and any other person who creates content for the world. Do not be afraid to be yourself. Put out what it is in your heart. It doesn't fucking matter what people are going to say. Follow your heart because your heart is free. Do the damn thing, man. Do that damn thing.